series is powered by Medicar Automotive, Malaga Suspension, and Manta Performance Exhausts. Well, we have now completed about 700 kilometers of the Canning Stock Route, so we thought it was a good opportunity to stop and have a bit of a think about what we've done and uh, maybe give you some feedback on some of uh, our experiences on the road. Mm -hmm. So, let me just create this bit. Um, I guess maybe we'll talk about a few things. We'll talk, we'll talk about the, the flora, the fauna, the road itself, maybe some of our experiences, things like that. So, I don't know, did you... Yeah, campsites what, were pretty good. Campsites? We'll start Some with campsites. Ones. Yeah. So, how, how did you find our campsites that we stayed at? Pretty good. Better when we were alone and we could feel more secluded. Yeah. And like we were actually on the track by ourselves. But our first camp at 1250 was pretty cool. Very hard ground, but really nice setting. Um, the She Oaks camp was really nice. Yeah, that's about the Howling, best camp. Howling dingoes was pretty cool to wake up to middle of the night. So and in amongst the sand dunes there, yeah, was yeah nice and soft. See, it's interesting because uh, it's it's so heavily spin effects that you can't just pull up anywhere and, and create your own campsite. So, but there are designated campsites and then there are campsites that have been made. Um, so uh, really, you just drive until you find one of those uh, there's no point trying to generate your own campsite um, so and they're, and they're awesome got. you know there's some there's some pretty good things off the side of the road yeah that we passed or we stayed at depends on what map you've got as well some maps show campsites that others don't um what about animals I've seen quite a few we've been fortunate we've seen i think five individual camels all are on, on their own Almost ran over one when we came around a corner. Yeah. Um, Two dead ones. Woke him up. Yeah. A couple they didn't of... run away, so they're easy to find. Yep. Uh, plenty of dingoes and plenty of tracks. They're everywhere. Absolutely everywhere that you go, there are tracks. Yeah. And then we saw a python. Yeah, we saw a, a desert python. python. Quite a big one. Beautiful. On the track, that was really cool. Yeah. Um, lots of little critters. Plenty of ants and insects. The bats have been out every night, and plenty of birds. Huge quantity little... of birds. I'm very surprised at how many birds are out there. But mm. um, you can definitely get quite close to them when you get to the wells, where there's a bit of water. They're very brave. But I was seeing an Australian busted as well. A couple, actually. Surprised. Surprised one that's taken off, and kingfishers and finches. Yep. Bird lovers paradise. So what about uh, plants? What about plants? Lots of spin <laughs> Lots effects. Of spin effects. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, because of the wet season, a lot of the wildflowers are in bloom. There's not there's not a lot, but we don't know them off the top of our heads. But, no. Um, we certainly have some yellows and purples and... Low wattles and acacias. Yep. Yeah. Noting that you're going through deserts, you know, I think we've either we've been through two are we, are we going into the third now going is it going into the third going into the third yeah it doesn't really have that much of a desert scene in the sense that there is still bushes everywhere um unless there's been a fire come through a certain section of it it's a lot less desert looking than you would expect or than i expected anyway um that being said they've had a huge wet season um and a lot of late rain so she's looking pretty lively at the moment which is which is nice. It's nice. It is. It's good. Yep. What about the road? This is what people want to know. They want to know what about the track. It's not that bad, I don't think. For me, I thought it's a bit slower than I expected, but it's not technical. There's a lot of 20 to 30 kilometer hour sections, um, but probably more importantly, there's a lot to look at. There's a lot of stops mm. because of the amount of wildlife we've seen and the wells and the, uh, the other things like the graves, art, Aboriginal rock art, you, you, you stop every 10 k's um, and if you're doing that eight times a day, you know, we're averaging 150 k's and they're, they're, they're big days, you know, we're leaving before nine and stopping after four. It is slow going, but I don't think we could do it any quicker without missing things. Without not going into places, yeah. Yeah. And, and the sand dunes 
they're soft, some are soft, but they've mainly been chopped up, haven't they, really? Mm. From people with their tire pressures too high. Yeah, and that's unfortunate. There's, a, there's the, the sand dunes, the approaches, you got a lot of whoopsies going on there. Um, but they're uh, not but that hard. They're not they? that hard. I mean, we, we don't have a turbo and uh, we, haven't we, haven't missed, we haven't missed a single dune, so corrugations they're corrugations that just go on and on and on yeah but they're also they're bad but i don't think they're horrible we're not feeling it too much in we're the not car. we're not feeling we it the too right much speed. and i think that's <laughs> one thing that we did do before we left was um really focus on what what we needed out of the vehicle one, one was to obviously keep it as light as possible as you can see we don't have all the roof racks and all that sort of stuff but with the corrugations we we knew that was always going to be a challenge on the vehicle yeah um so we were able to get uh, a pretty decent set of suspension put in and that has helped a lot so if you're going to do the canning stock route um, make sure that your springs and shocks are uh, are tip top for the job yeah. uh, because i'd say out of vehicle modifications that would have to be the number one thing to look at on the canning stock route good suspension and a good sports bra Good suspension, a good sports bra for the ladies. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll get back out in the tracks and we'll catch you in a little bit. You can follow the Canning Stock Route Adventure by clicking on the series links. And if you'd like to be notified of future episodes, please subscribe to the Sodium Overland YouTube channel.